Uh, since announcing Teatro alla Scala coming to QPAC, uh, demand for tickets has been incredibly high. Huge, it is a huge cultural event for Queensland. And of course, I urge people uh, right across our country and across the region uh, to don't, not let this opportunity uh, pass you by. This is one to make sure that you get involved in. This company is considered as one of the great um, icons of the world and the great icon of Italy and to have them here for the first time in their 240 history is pretty extraordinary. It's uh, Giselle, it's uh, characteristic La Scala Ballet <laughs> repertoire. Ballet. We have uh, our iconic Giselle, yeah. which was Carla Fracci, so it's an uh, honour to us to bring it to the world and yeah. show it to everyone. Because we, it's a long trip. But it's a long trip, and we we heard uh, about Australia already four years ago, and so finally it's going to happen. So we're really happy. Qui più lontano e più complessa, indubbiamente l'Australia è una di quelle. And uh, in closer places to Italy and Australia, of course, is such is such <coughs> a distant place from from Italy. This is just the beginning. So it will be the beginning of a long partnership and presence uh, of the Scala and of the Italian artistic and musical world here in Australia. This is the first time ever that Teatro alla Scala have ever performed in Australia and it is happening here in Queensland at QPAC and it is something that not just Brisbane audiences, but audiences across Queensland are going to be able to interact with. One of the great joys is we're going to be in this out to regional Queensland. So eight centres are going to be able to take this. Um, they'll be able to take a live performance and we'll be doing a, a simulcast to eight centres at the same time as the lyrics fall. So that gives me a lot of pleasure. So on that night, I think we'll be playing to about 10,000 people around Queensland. I think it was important first time to present these two opposite ballet, romantic and brilliant like Don Quixote.